Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Cosmet Gaming with me, Christopher, and we're back with Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition and the unlikely party doing Thronoball. The last time we uh, we did what we were supposed to do, at least in the beginning, we claimed the heart of Yagashura, we went to uh, the woman who uh, destroyed the heart and uh, subsequently tried to attack us. Did not go over too well for her. And finally, we went to the siege, we found Yagashura and we promptly killed him. We were almost uh, killing him uh, slightly earlier than the game probably anticipated, but he got away just before he died. No matter, he could not get away, and we have our first ball spawn dead, out of the five, I believe, that we need to kill. Which means that we open up the second uh, challenger, and that was difficult. Like, really, really difficult. So difficult, in fact, that I... I am gonna try one it or two be. times uh, as a start here, but if I don't succeed, I'll... I'll keep going with the, with the quest, and we'll, we'll see what I do. But I have a couple of thoughts. First of all, there's a mage in there. There's a mage. Uh, I have the... Where are you? The Nishru. Now you are very good against specifically mages. So let's get you out and also something. So that is the Nishru. So those are you done. Now you get the bless in. You get the champ in. I think I'll do the defensive harmony like immediately. Oh, I got two things, both a wolf and an ogre. Nice. Uh, let's do the defensive harmony as well. And I think it does good. So let's go in and um, hopefully my summon things. Yeah, they, they do arrive, but at the back, which is slightly, slightly annoying. But uh, at least we'll, uh, we're in a slightly better position. So what I want to do, I would like to kill you first. Tomoko. Uh, so let's uh, start pelting you with some magic. Uh, like so. You will actually back up a little bit, have Torvar move back, and I want the Nishru to go out here. Uh, and obviously want you. You can start hitting Torvar here. You, Nishru, attack the Sim attack Simaj. Uh, you attack Torvar for now. And you activate your... What is it I want? Sun Soul Ray. That's just the uh, big attack. Then Flaming Fists. Uh, you can go up here now. Uh, Mr. Wolf, come around. Uh, let's, let's not forget to heal. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. no, no, no. Uh, attack Tamoko, please. Uh, you... No, 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 Tamoko. You keep doing the missiles. Actually, you, you should be able to do that. You should be able to do the flaming fists. Go, yeah, I, I know. Go away. You should get this one. So you are slightly tankier. And there's the bloody time stop as well. I don't know if the Nishu is doing well or not. I don't know if Ulon is doing it. Oh, bloody hell, did I just miss Ulon? Ulon is not doing anything. Perfect. Good job, me. Well, this just means that I have more firepower. Uh, you, however, are going to have to hide out a little bit. Yeah, you know what? Yes. You two can go ahead and attack that one. I will just simply walk around a bit. Uh, keep attacking you. You can also help out with that. Can you get another potion in before you die? That would be nice. Uh, are you dead yet? I think you might be. Uh, yes, we have it killed her. Cool. We also have Semaj. Mm -hmm. You get your true sight in. Yep. You start playing your yes. tunes. You go for Torvar over here <laughs> as Torvar starts running. <laughs> uh, awesome. Go, 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 go. Uh, what are you doing, Nishu? You should be hitting that one. Why yes. are you not hitting that one? Uh, that's silly of you. Uh, what are you doing? You are attacking Torvar, that's cool. Uh, pop a potion and keep running. I like the Torvar is just following here. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Get your power in and 
go for Simaj. You go for Simaj. Uh, yeah, I think I do want Ulan to go for. Let's go for call shot. What? We'll go for him. Oh. oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Why are you? No, 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 no! Oh bloody hell! She's gonna die, isn't she? Let's see if I can save her. I think I might be able to. No, no! Why? Why? <laughs> Why, why, why are you doing this, Torgor? Why are you attacking my weakest person? Why on earth, why on God's green earth are you doing this? On my honor. Okay. Well. Uh, can you do anything fun here at all? Like, can you protect him, for example? You're doing a lot of potions. I don't appreciate yes. that. Uh, I could just go Slayer. I, I would like to avoid going Slayer, to, battle to be honest. Uh, of oh, what did I? What did I do here? Uh, let's actually, yeah, do the whip. Um, yes. That is you. Uh, if you wait. Wait. There we go. Oh crap! Not now. You're Something now. They're going for tear. That is not good. Flee. Uh, what are you doing? Are you even attacking <laughs> this thing? <laughs> um, you know what? No, go for that one. You, what are we doing? What on earth are we doing right now? Stop running over the bloody, bloody fire! So bad. <laughs> uh, let's do a couple of heals. Uh, I wouldn't mind. You giving Ulon one and Iowina one. Uh, so those are healed up. You drink one. Point me in the right and direction. You drink one. Cool. On my honor. Everyone on Torvar, I think. Yes. Actually, you. Can you just summon something? Uh, can you summon a. That's a good idea, I think. There we go. Uh, you... Do your sun soul ray. On Torbar. Wabam. I don't know if there was any wabam. But let's say there was. Uh, everyone on Torbar. Except you, play tunes. There we go. Okay. And you are dealing with that guy. Which is very nice. Um, you are not gonna survive much longer. You are doing some pretty damn decent damage. Don't stand in the freaking fire! Holy crap! That is so stupid. <laughs> uh, do a smaller potion just for the sake of it. Nope. What are you? Oh, right, because you can actually of not. Course. You need to sort of look at that, I suppose. Uh, let's just a sun soul ray on you. Bam! A bit of damage. You, we should be fine. Now. There we go. Whew. First try. Well, first try today, at least. All right, we we've, we've got that. No, no loot, which is a little bit sad. Uh, so the second task be. has been done. Awesome. Uh, only used a couple of potions. Uh, so that means that we can now keep going with the story. We are supposed to go to a, um, a place. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the name. It's called Amketheron. And apparently we need to go by the oasis first. We are obviously going to start by sleeping. Because we can sleep here on my for honor. free. Right. I don't think... Oh, there was one thing that I was supposed to do. Uh, first of all, this one. Um, cool hammer. Uh, is it better than this one? Or this one? Immunity to Sharma Confusion. I'm already sort of that. Let's actually dump the equalizer away. Plater Baldron, I don't want to sell. Uh, it's also... Oh, I... Oh, no, 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 N never mind. Oh, right, I picked this up, and this is actually better than the one I had. So this one we can sell. Uh, we are going to dump away the silver sword, because no one wants that. That one I can sell, however. We are also going to sell that one, but the Ravager we can save. 
because we can apparently make it better, so why not? Uh, that one we can sell as well. So we are gonna yes. just dump. We are gonna dump that one, that one, and that one. Uh, the other ones are for selling. If that's what you want. And we're dumping uh, Ravager. These are just plus one weapons. What there we go. I That's what I wanted best. to do. Right. Let's get back to it and get to the oasis. And as we uh, as we arrive, Jamie's Tom Beltham. Apparently, you don't like me. We also have a Tetherian captain. Why, why don't you like me? Why don't you people like me? What is going on? Hmm. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Say hello to a big freaking fireball. Uh, maybe not there. Uh, just in front of you, right here. Oh, it's you again. Oh, now he wants to talk to me. Okay. You two were accused of crimes against our nation and indeed all of humanity. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so, what crimes? Um, yeah, what crimes am I accused of here? You are a spawn of ball and are responsible for the destruction of the city of Saradouche. I probably am not, but okay. Your execution has been ordered, Torvar. May the gods have mercy on your soul. No, let, uh, let, yes. let the mercy be on your souls, as you basically die. Um, huh? Ulan, deal with the archer over here. Uh, yes. You play your tunes. You come up a little bit as Torvar deals with the captain here. I would like for you... Now, I'd love for you to go for the battle ma mage, actually. Uh, that might have been a stupid idea, I just realized. Now, actually, go for the ones... Stop healing yourself. I don't like that. Um, what are you doing? You... Just do a regular detecting this ability. And Ulan, go for the battle mage. There's a lot of enemies here. <laughs> There's a lot of enemies. What have you lost? What have you lost? Resistance lowered. Well, that's curious. Yeah, Let's actually oh, just run. And I will just have her loop around a bit. Oh, there's so many people. Also, skeleton warrior. Um, you know what? Do a... You're gonna come down here. I'll do that. And then I will do... I'll just do a fireball, sort of in this general direction. There we go, got some fire. There's some uh, stuff as well. Ooh. Where is... Yes. Where's Torvar? Where, why, why are you there? James is still... What the hell? <laughs> How did you do that? Uh, you... You know what, you deal with that one, yeah. you go up and deal with the other archer over here. No, what? no. It is done. Oh, right, because you actually just flat out killed that thing. Uh, cool. Hmm. Can you deal with... I don't want to move in too far, actually. Miss. Go for the archer, the archer should be easy to kill. Sure, right, there we go. Oh, is that a... that's another archer. Kill that one. Uh, you are done, but don't go for... okay, fine. We, ass oh, we appear to be killing like everything. Awesome! Kill, 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 kill. Uh, mm -hmm. Tyr, don't you oh, have a... Do I not have AI? I have AI on you, don't I? Uh, script... Uh, prefer range web. Oh, right, I don't have attack enemies. You should have attack enemies. There we go. Thought I had that already. Right. Well, that was a nice welcoming party. Whew, that was a lot of enemies, but we suffered through it. Something right. Uh, you pick up all of the stuff that we can. Nope, can't uh, carry anymore. That one's on the ground. We can identify that. Is just plus one arrows. We've moved past that. Uh, we have some composite longbows. Now that I found one, would you like that? Uh, less damage by one point, but you are better to hit. You know what? That's actually a good trade-off. I had a Ripper plus two. Speed factor five, speed factor four. Um, yeah, I actually think that that might be a better... So the game kind of wants me to use the Ripper. Because you can see that the um, portrait lights up. Hmm... 
Hmm. Okay. Oh, fine then. We'll, we'll dump everything with offset. That was a plus a ba bastard sword plus three. Uh, no one seems to actually want that, but uh, for some reason, Ulan didn't light up. I do only have a plus one. So obviously, if you're going to use something, use something good. And these are just the studded leather plus two. He actually has a grandmaster armor plus six. I think that's better. Sounds better, so doesn't it? Right uh, so something else, some staves. And we have just so many more things. Oh, there's oh oh. There's an archer. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just pick up more stuff. Nope, can't anymore. That one's on the ground. Yes, yes, yes. There's a lot of stuff that they have picked up, or rather dropped, is what I want to say. Uh, spear plus two. Um, I'm just going to save these uh, for the sake of selling. At least the weapons. Oh, you have some uh, daggers as well on you from yep. before uh, keep picking up pick 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 and uh, we don't need those arrows so that was a decent nope, can't that carry something anymore. that looked that interesting uh, long sword plus three do we have anyone that actually needs a long sword i don't actually think so i mean i have a cutthroat plus four and oh, you you actually ran around with the rune hammer which is Fine, but a little bit on the bad side. Uh, yeah, no, we actually... Oh, you would like that, would you? Okay, then. Well, you have Namara, which just does silence. So, you know what? Fair play. Get that. The Answerer. Each hit lowers target's magic resistance. That, that, that is what I was hit by. Each hit penalizes target's armor class. Well... Well, that is interesting for Torvor, possibly. Um, yeah, just have that on your person for now. Full plate made plus two. I don't think that's interesting. Uh, and then we have just have the same things all over again. As soon as we get to the uh, city, we are going to have a lot of stuff to sell. Uh, that is the last one, I think. Yes, indeed. Then you. I just can't carry oh, right, anymore. because you actually don't have any space. Um, you stump that with uh, Torwar for now, so you have a little bit of space to pick up stuff in. Uh, there are actually more. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that was dropped here. I just can't uh, carry anymore. You that goes that there. One more and one more. Don't really need these, but I'm gonna I'm gonna loot the place clean. Uh, Tyr, you pick up that. Tor, yes. you pick up the scrolls. We're gonna have those. Yes. Or the give direction. those a bit of read. Ah, right. You didn't actually see. Oh, there. Bloody what hell. Yeah, not Bloody hell. Out. Just uh, keep showing up. Oh, there's. Oh, I was actually not done whatsoever. It would appear. All right. Oh, kill, 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 kill. Done. So, can yep. you see? Yeah, you saw that one and that one. Bounty notice, yes. On Where are you coming from? Oh, you Where are you guys coming from? I had to drop your item yeah, on the you, ground. you also I can carry no more. So, what is that? A note. My faithful uh, General Jamis. That is from Queen Monarch Savanda Rindan. Hmm. Queen Monarch going for me. I implore you to move the Great Urge to intercept the ball spawn Torvar before he can do any more damage. Whether or not he is responsible for what occurred in Saradouche, we cannot allow him to continue and cannot afford a time for a trial, if we could even capture him. Our other forces are busy containing the rise in Miratma and keeping opportunists from our borders. You are our only hope in stopping Torvar. Use any measures necessary and be safe, my old friend. But he's dead. Uh, that is very sad. Uh, can I dump some stuff with you? There we go. Uh, so bounty notice. I to drop yeah, I, I know. Ground. I can carry no more. Now you can. Uh, that's that one. Bounty notice. Short document appears to be an official bounty from the crown of Tethyr offering gold. A hundred thousand for the death of me. I don't think we need to have two of those. That seems a little bit over the top. Um, dump those with... Well, okay. Find the arrows. Didn't really need to pick up the arrows, but there you go. Get all of those sorted. Move that back to Torbor. I think we are done. Uh, 
Yes, as you wish. I think I'm really done. So if I actually do find anything, I'm not gonna pick it up. What is my task? Um, I'm going to assume now that there's yes. gonna be like enemies just spawning here, because there was no place for that archer to come from that I didn't like already see. So that was a on my bit honor. on the weird side. I so think that we can check through here. That is a potion of agility. Don't really care yes. about that. Uh, yeah, more to archers over here. Oh, <laughs> and he's still afraid. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pick these things up actually. Okay. Well, just have everybody. I, mean, I will pick up the potions, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Everybody, come over here. Kill, kill, kill. Do want to pick up more things? Oh, there's actually a cleric over here. Uh, kill, kill, kill. I think I would like to kill you, yes, the priest of the thunder. And now, to the archer here. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> they go down very, very fast. Awesome. Okay. A dangerous mistake. More stuff. Uh, what do we find here? There's uh, another bounty notice. More stuff. <laughs> Holy crap, there's a lot. There's a lot of people in this oasis. Um, what can I assume? Uh, what can I assume gives me the most money? I sort of feel like the studded leather armors aren't really going to give me so much. Uh, so if I have to choose, which I probably do, let's drop these away. Keep to the weapons as much as possible. So drop these. Give that over to... Juliana, plus two daggers, you know what, screw those as well. Uh, I'll keep this one, I'll keep this one in case someone wants to talk to me about that. Uh, so let's do that. I'll pick up the bow, I know that bows generally go for a lot of money. So let's pick those up. There we go. Weapon. Yeah. There are nope, so many that weapons. One's on the ground. I know. I like that just, in my opinion, regular uh, regular enemies are carrying <laughs> really good weaponry. I can't That's carry no more. A bit interesting. Your item is on the ground. There we go. So we don't need to look at all of that. Did you have one slot open? Yes, you did. Yeah, these are very minor gems, that is very true, but still, something to sell. Uh, more potions, I do like a little bit of a potion refill. So that is actually quite nice, cool. Uh, get that, more identification scrolls that we actually don't really need. I will do my uh, best. Keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to sell once we get to the place. I think we're done! Awesome! Well, there's one crate here. Let's just give that a bit of a look. -see. Oh, there's a lot of money in there. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and actually, a gem for you to just uh, have a bit of a look at. There we go. You can actually pick up the scroll, which I don't think anyone needs, but let's just dump it in our scroll case. There we go, on finally! Jesus. Let's get on. And I really hope that I am... Uh, Greeted a little bit friendly in Amkathron, that would be very, very nice. Dust blows around you, clearing a moment later to reveal what can only be Amkathron, a village nestled into an outcropping of rock amidst a desert so dry and sparse of life that you wonder how such a place could survive. Dominating the village, and seemingly carved out of the stone face of the rocks themselves, is a large and ornate fortress. Its purpose unknown. Well, I mean, it's a fortress. What, what do fortresses usually, or rather, what are fortresses usually known for? Being fortresses. Right, we are here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, do we actually... Ah, we see all of this. Monastery gates, Temple of Joaquin, Tavern, Smithy... Smuggler's Cave and Cave of the Dead. Well, lovely. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So, what are we going to be finding here? Mercenary Captain could be useful to talk to. Hello, Mercenary Captain. Nope, you don't want to talk to me. A monster comes. 
I hope that you don't mean me. I'm not a monster. Hello, Captain Erlon. Yeah, I'm busy. My archers need to stay in top form. Well, what are you doing here? Well, what does it look like we do? Prepare for war. Now leave us to it and be gone. War against whom? What do I look like? A recruiting officer? An information clerk? We're set to face off against the most dangerous of foes. Drow, mind face, dragons, you name it. So what you're saying is that they're not actually coming here. You're going out to look for them. Is that what we're saying? My archers need to practice, and I need to keep summoning monsters so they have a target to aim at. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, sure, if you can mus summon monsters, why not? But still... A little bit barbaric in some ways, I gotta have to say. But uh, it could be dangerous. It's a private session. No one asks you to stick your nose in. Now quit bothering me. Well, I'm not done with my questions. Well, I'm sick of your annoying corruptions. We've got a new target. Man, fire! Wait, wait what? <laughs> Why? Why? Why am I even fighting the captain now? This is not really what I wanted. That is not really what I wanted, but we did it. And you got good stuff, so you have a gold. You won't have a gold horn helmet. Um, I might have to reload because if I've been, uh, what if they are mercenaries? Ah, they are mercenaries. In that case, well, we don't really have a problem, do we? If they are just ordinary mercenaries, we are all golden. So, uh, no problem there whatsoever. More stuff to pick up, though. I don't really have the space for it, but we do have a smithy that we can probably send some things in. So there we go, they are dealt with, and we get a level up. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, my, my bags are... Well, actually, you, you, you guys down here do have space for some, some stuff. Let's just pick up uh, weapons and these armors because they are the interesting. El okay, it's actually, just regular Elven Shane and regular Shane mail that nobody wants. Long and these are actually just plus one stuff and dark fire bow. Ooh. Is that uh, I can carry no more. Is that at on all the better than what you have? That is quite, quite horrible. Uh, 200 sword plus 2. Dump that with tear. More weapons. Pick those up. Nope, oh. right, you, 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 you still can't carry more stuff. I sort of knew that. Uh, dump these with tear. You can't carry more than that. That was a shade mail plus 3. Let's dump that. Oh, you had a leather armor. Let's dump that as well. Uh, weapons, weapons, weapons. Pick up it's all done. of the weapons. There we go. Well, okay, so they were yes, sort of formal guards. They were just uh, mercenaries, and I don't care about mercenaries. Um, so you oh, here we go. smugglers could sell our stolen gear and get away with it, eh, a salmon? Uh -huh, a bit of a problem here. Or should we just call you Seymour? <sighs> we know all about your shady reputation, Seymour Novarian. It's our old, uh, well, not friend so much, but it's Seymour. Uh, now, let's not do anything hasty, gentlemen. As you know, I could not have been involved, as I have only recently returned to El Kefran. Oh, is this where you came from initially, or have you just been here before? Save it, you weasel. We know you run the smugglers here in Amkathra, so you're the one to blame. We've been waiting for you. Hand over our stuff, Seymour, or we'll slit your lying, cheating throat. Oh, well, of course I, uh, by my sea salt stinging eyes. Look who's coming this way, a familiar face from my past. Well, okay, you are in a bit of trouble, and, uh... You must have confused me with someone else. Uh, but yeah, your shitty ways have finally caught up with you. That is a very palliative thing to say, I believe. Your arrival is a happy coincidence, given the situation. You can actually solve my dispute with these rather upset gentlemen. You think so, would you? Are you a friend of this double-crossing rat? Not really a friend so much. It doesn't concern you. This is between us and Seymour. Just keep walking. We'll see about that, though. But I can solve this little dispute quite easily now. Torvar, please return that equipment I sold you yesterday to these fine men. You? You bought our stuff? Of course not. Don't be difficult. We all plainly see you're carrying equipment that does not rightfully belong to you. Well, bloody hell, I am. <laughs> like, quite a lot of it, in fact. But yeah, those weapons look mighty familiar to me. 
and those boots look just like the ones I'm missing. You've got our stuff. Hey, I absolutely do not have boots of yours. That is something I don't have. I might have a, a few uh, swords and bows, but nothing else. <laughs> that, that is ridiculous. All boots look alike. No, they absolutely do not. And uh, no, Simon is just playing you guys for fools. I guess Tor isn't going to cooperate. I'm afraid this can only end in violence, he says. So you're looking for a fight? Well, you've got one. But well, I hope that you mean same and not we me. Teach you to steal our stuff. Well, I'm afraid you're on your own. Bloody hell, Simon. All of the time. All right, we'll 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 deal with these, these suckers. Just more stuff for me to loot, I suppose. So there's a lot of mercenaries in this place, and they are all none too uh, happy to see me, I suppose. So you all have fairly regular stuff. Stuff, I think I am. Am I gonna bother? Oh, fine. I'll bother with the weapons. I'm not gonna bother with the rest, though. So those are. I have so many weapons. Can I get I to? Uh, can I get to the smithy without anyone interrupting me? I'm just gonna. God damn it! Please spare me. I beg you. Apparently not. Saving wench. Begging won't save you now. We will make a harsh example of you, and maybe others will think twice before they steal from us. Please, my daughter meant no harm. Her motives were pure, even if her actions were wrong. Pure? How do you justify your daughter's theft of our hard-earned gold, Mayor Harad? People are starving. Food is scarce. Hassana needed your money to buy bread from the black market to feed the poor. The problems of your town are not our problems, Mayor. Your excuses cannot justify your daughter's crimes. Stay clear, Mayor. You can do nothing here. Make peace with your god, Asana. Your life is forfeit. Please. Will no one help my daughter? Will no one stand against these brutes who have invaded our town? Invaded, you say? Well, that seems like a proper reason for me to just kill every mercenary I see. Gosh. The townsfolk are scared. They will not intervene. I must accept the consequences of my actions. Well, here comes Torvar. So this is not right. Asan has done nothing wrong. You there, stranger. You are surely not afraid of these mercenaries. Can you not help my daughter? Are you talking to me? <laughs> okay. Well, it does sound like she is a thief, but also she did it for a good reason. So what can I do to help? Thank you. I fear those mercenaries will execute Asana right in the street if someone does not speak to them on her behalf. Please hurry! Alright, let's have a bit of a chat. Do oh, I, know <laughs> I just ran right up. No, actually, I didn't. So this does not concern you, stranger. Well, I'm not to permit you to murder a girl, so let's start there. This woman is a thief, and she will pay for her crimes. Well, it is justifiable if she wants to feed starving children, so yeah, th that's my statement. Well, we are guests in this town, and the daughter of the mayor dares to take our gold. This is an insult which must be repaid in blood. Now stand aside and let justice prevail or face the consequences. Well, um, no, I will not stand aside. Good. I was worried about finding skills for getting a mite rusty. Well, okay, fine, let's just kill them. Fine, whatever. <laughs> she did a bit of damage to uh, Yuliana, that is uh, that is true. Oh, you can uh, all join up play a little bit of music to accompany the fighting. There we go. May I be of service? And there we go. Thank you, my lord. I cannot truly repay you for saving my life, though my father might have some small reward for you. Please excuse me now. This has been most upsetting. Now, I don't have any space to actually... Well, actually, okay, you have one space, two space, three space. Oh, I have so much space. Uh, let's have a bit of a chat with the Major. My daughter owes you her life. I wish I had more to give, but I insist you accept this small reward. I will tell all of Am Catherine how you saved my beloved Asana. Do that. So we get gold, we get a cloak. Ooh. Nope, can't carry anymore. All right. On the ground. Yes. Where's the smithy? I need it to go to the be. smithy. Can I get to the smithy from here? No, I cannot. Uh, do we go through here, possibly? Is that where we're going? Uh, tavern, or do we just go up here? How do we... Do we go... How do we get up? 
Hei. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, it has to be that we go through here. It has to be that we go through here. So let's go in here. This is the inn. Good day. Of course, there's more people gonna talk to me. I do not mean to be rude, but you are one of the strangers that all the locals have been talking about, aren't you? An adventurer from the north? Yes, yes, of course you are. Anyone can see that you are an extraordinary man. Please forgive me. It is very fortunate that such a powerful person such as yourself has come to this remote town. I thought I'm Catherine would be remote enough so that no one would find me here, but I was wrong. I would not bother you, stranger, but I am a terrible peril. I need your aid. I beg you for a boon, my lord, or I am a daughter both should surely perish. Well, what is this peril, then? I cannot speak more of this here. Please come to my home on top of the cliff, my lord. I beg you, we can speak freely there. Okay, so where is this home? It is on top of the east cliff, with a simple dwelling, but safe for the moment. My name is Marlow. Please meet me there, and I shall explain everything, I swear. Cool. And we have more level ups, I think. Did we? Hexat. Oh, Hexat is here. Well, hello, Hexat. Uh, that is interesting, but there is no way to get up. I don't know if I'm, I really want to talk to Hexat, but uh, okay. How do I we... I will do my best. Well, there's a, there's a thing here. Oh, bloody hell, what now? <laughs> what Your now? Once cared for Priest of Bokin. But under Balthazar, you have abandoned us. The people are starving, and your master does nothing. Balthazar is concerned with greater matters, old man. Bah! He is gathering mercenaries and wizards for an army. How is this more important than bringing in food for the starving children? You have no idea of the events that the monastery has set in motion. Go back to your prayers and leave me alone. No, this is too important. In the name of Joaquin, I demand a meeting with Balthazar. He must be made to see the insanity of his callous actions. You make no demands of me or the monastery. Balthazar cares nothing about this pathetic town. Go beg your dead god to feed these people. Blasphemer! I will stand for your monastery's tyranny no longer. You dare attack me, old man? Your death shall be quick and painful. I'm gonna assume that you die, but we'll see. So, we have, I would almost say, evil monks. Interesting. So you're just gonna be... Maybe you are doing something. I presume I could intervene. But I don't know if I sh should. I mean, you're not doing too hot. You're not doing too hot at all. Should I get involved here? I think I should. Let's attack the monk. Oh, he's actually almost dead. Kill the monk. Kill the monk before he kills the priest. Oh, god damn it, they both died. Can I kill you even? Come on, kill it. How is it not dead yet? We probably cannot kill you. Okay, well, he died. That's a bit of a shame. Our oaken ring. I have to drop the uh, item on the ground. Yes. No, no not that you. You, that yes. on the ground. you can carry that. What is that? A ring of fashion, not from gold or precious metal, but from simple oak. Maybe uh, Cespedor yes. can do something with that. Well, that was a bit of a shame. A bit of a weird interaction as well. But okay. So Balthazar and the monks, they are not friendly people. Noted. Okay, let's get in here. Here we go. Very well. There's the staircase up. Can I now finally get to the bloody smithy? It's a bit of a hassle to get to your smithy. It's not good for business, I would presume. Especially if you have to go through someone someone else's home to get to it. Doesn't seem effective at all. So, hello, As Mr. Character are. Smith. Yes. So, hello there. It's not often I get people barging into my shop. As the reason I chose this is such a remote locale for my research after all. Okay, fair play. If you want to be here because you don't want to get disturbed, you've done a marvelous job. So what kind of research? Well, you'll no doubt ridicule me for my work. So many others have, after all. But I'm used to it, so I suppose I can tell you something about what I do. I make armor. Weapons too. Powerful, powerful armor and weapons. It's a process I've been honing for years and years. Searching for a way to tap into the power of, uh, well... No, no, I can't go on having folks laugh at, laughing at me. I can't bear it. Yes, just go away, you. I'm sure you have lots of adventures to be on about. Don't mind me. Well, can you make a weapons for armor for me, then? 
Well, if you uh, had the appropriate material, then perhaps, but it did with very specific requirements that, well, you wouldn't understand. Well, tell me. Well, let me see your belongings. I'll just take a quick look. No, no, you don't have anything I need. I don't want to discuss it. Please leave me to my work. Oh, bloody hell, you are not even going to buy things. Some turnips, I swear. Um, Oh, bloody hell, you're not even going to sell me things. Well, it's going to be the innkeeper that I it suppose. Uh, all right, fine. Let's get over here. Let's talk to the I innkeeper, if that is the case. Consider it or done. the tavern. Because apparently that seems to be the only place where I can actually sell some stuff. Oh, bugger. But yeah, I kind of want to kill all the monks and all the mercenaries now. They seem like really bad people. They shouldn't be able to just go around doing things here. But okay, we have um, other people now other than Cespinar that we I can do uh, deliver the things to. Yeah. Um, okay, hello to you, my friend. More travelers come from to tiny little Amkethrenae. But you had another soul for hire that a good Balthazar is called for. No, I'm not. No, it is not often that we get travelers passing through Amkethron, especially in these times. Welcome to the Sefer, then, my good man, Saki Rafiha, at your service. So, quite a few questions, then, first. Certainly, certainly, I'm not so overcome with business that I cannot answer a few queries now and then. Ho ho! Ask away there, man! So, what can you tell me about this Balthasar? He's the leader of the monastic order within the fortress. It has been, uh, been for quite. Quite sometimes, yes, that, that's how you spell quite. Um, he is not overly popular, as I'm sure you're well aware, perhaps, indeed. The monks have always been supportive of Amkethron, providing guidance when it was necessary, and even protection from the creatures that sometimes come out of the Kalim Desert. We have always been grateful for their presence, and they, ha they and the smugglers who bring us supplies to live. Uh, yeah, since Balthazar assumed leadership of the Order, however, nothing has been the same. The Order ignores us. They apply restrictions on both the smugglers that have been killed some. They apply restrictions on the smugglers and have even killed some. Restricting the supplies the village can be brought. And then there are all the mercenaries. It, uh, it is to be expected, I suppose. Many say that Balthazar is one of the terrible spawn of the dead of God Ball. Ooh, might you be the third one then, perhaps? He prepares for war, no doubt, and we simply pray that this war does not come to him. Kethra, so he's a ball spawn, then. So it is said. He was brought here uh, long ago by the mage Melisan, who protects him. We fear that the old days of destruction brought by the children of Ball may come true after all. So again, Melisan is here, uh, in the story, so to speak. So, what can you tell me about Melisan? She is a protector of all Ball's children, it is said. Yes, this elements that protects those who harp. Well, such a mage would protect the gods Bon who want to bring terror and destruction, I do not know, nor does anyone. I know little else of her, however, my friend. No one has told me of seeing Melisande the mage for many months now. Alright, so what about the monks? Who, who are they? Because they don't seem super friendly right now. Or as little to say, the order built their fortress in this remote place long ago. It is said they are an ancient order of warriors that once fought for an ancient Shah and were exiled when he was murdered. The village grew up around the fortress depending on their goodwill and guidance, which was received in abundance. At least that is until Balthasar came, became their leader. Now we are strangers. So how can I get into the fortress then? I do not know. Balthazar sees no one and has not for months. The gates are well guarded and even protected by spells placed by Balthazar's hired sorcerers. To force entry would be foolish. Well, I will assume that one of the caves are going to be the entry point then. Perhaps the smugglers know of a way in. It is hard to say. What cares of boasts by a few of them that they have stolen into the fortress secretly for acts of thievery? This may be nothing more than idle tales, however. Aha, uh -huh. and yeah, what about the mercenaries? Why are they here? Well, if I could tell you that, Kasari, then I would know far more than the going out of this world that I would like. I hear stories occasionally from the mercenaries uh, when they come here, and they frighten me. I've heard tales of great wars and destruction in the lands beyond the desert, and uh, while the Order has uh, never involved itself in such things before, it seems Balthazar has changed things. He plans a war, a great and terrible war, but I do not know against whom. All right, and Marlow, who was just here, who's he? Only a little. He is a stranger to Amkethron, um, arrived only a w weeks ago. I do not believe he intended to remain. Indeed, I suspect uh, he has been traveling for some time. But his daughter fell ill or so, I hear. But he has a house here. 
That sort of feels like settling down to me, but sure. He has been a little crazed as well. He blames his daughter's illness upon the undead creatures that are said to have arisen in our graveyard cavern. Poor soul, he drinks much, but it seems to do him little good. Alright, well, some service, please, and you can indeed buy things. Namora, do I want Namora? No, I'm just gonna sell Namora. So how much money am I gonna make? I'm at 127 right now. So let's... Uh, Sell all of the weapons. I'll keep those, but saving grace we can actually sell. So that's another 16,000. Uh, with all the weapons that you're selling, that is going to be what? Another. Okay, sell all of those. Keep the katana. That's another 10,000 or so. You have a couple of things. Another 1,000. And all of the weapons that you have are going for a mighty 3,000 and you had like one thing or something like that, a 200 sword, long sword, a composite longbow and the dark fire bow, yes, 3,000 more, up to 168, uh, 161,000, cool. Do you sell potions, my good sir? You do not. You sell terrible, terrible, terrible things. You have a silver ion stone for a plus wisdom, but I don't have anyone who actually needs that. Yeah, you sell extremely terrible things, but I will have a noble's rest for a short while. On my honor, yes. And you know what? I think that that is going to be it for this short well. episode. Well, not so short. It's a, it's a decent sized episode. Yeah, we're going to keep exploring this place. We have the monastery. Oh, the monastery is actually right here. I somehow thought it was going to be slightly bigger. Well, then I... Do guess that the cave of the dead will be the way in, yes. We also had a smuggler's cave, should probably have a bit of a look there. And of course Morlo's home over here. Uh, probably should nip into the temple of Joaquin as well, see if there's anybody there that we can talk to. Yeah, there are a couple of locations we can start by having a bit of a look at in the next episode. I will, however, I should have done this before I slept, I will level him up. So, uh, nothing too much really, more to his armor class 0, that's good, and we get more abilities, and I got the power attack, so I can now get critical strikes, beautiful, that is awesome. Get critical strikes, nice. Um, probably, do I get that immediately? Yes, I do. So basically, um, once per day, concentrate all attacks in one round to strike a vital area with this ability. Every attack roll made in the next round is an actual 20, a critical hit, and he can attack quite fast. So he can dish out a lot of damage with that. And if I can get uh, more more of these, I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna go for this. I just have uh, ver very many of these. I think that should be pretty damn good. So, more of this is going to come in the next episode. For now, though, this has been Ghostsmith Gaming with me, Christopher. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.